The Primus Apex display system on Pilatus PC-12 NG aircraft features an interactive moving map. The interactive navigation, or iNav map display, is capable of showing nav aids, airways and airspace boundaries, geopolitical boundaries, flight plan information, weather information, and much more. The map display has a control bar that contains menu selections. These can be used to select the display characteristics of the map. When the aircraft is first powered up, the iNav map is displayed on the upper MFD. However, it can be displayed on the lower MFD by pushing the MFD swap button. The soft buttons and drop-down menus on the active layers control bar are used to select the items to be shown on the iNav map display. Select airports to show airports on the map. Airports are categorized as major airports and minor airports. Depending on the selected map range, major airports are shown with the airport identifier and runways when appropriate. Minor airports are shown along with major airports. However, they are not shown until the map range is further reduced. ILS feathers are shown for runways in the navigation database that have ILS approaches associated with them. The VOR selection shows all VHF nav aids, including Vortax, DME stations, and TACANs. VORs are shown using a nav aid symbol and station identifier. Similar to VORs, NDBs can also be shown. Intersections on the map are shown using the intersection symbol and name depending on the map range. Airways can also be selected for display on the map. Airways are differentiated by high and low airways. The range setting will determine when low and high airways are labeled with their individual identifiers. If an airway segment consists of multiple airways, all the identifiers are shown in one label box. Select Terminal Airspace or Special Use Airspace to show airspace boundaries. Move the cursor on an airspace boundary to see the identifier and upper and lower altitude limits of the airspace. To reduce map clutter, map data is removed from the display at specific map ranges. For more details, refer to the pilot's manual. The flight plan drop-down menu displays missed approach and alternate routes, as well as any waypoint altitude constraints. Geopolitical information such as country and state boundaries, roadways, cities, railways, and VFR reference points can be turned on or off on the geopolitical drop-down menu. Select Terrain to turn the terrain layer on or off. This is general purpose, non-aviation topography, and not from the TAWS database. Use the Weather drop-down menu to control the display of XM weather, weather radar, and the lightning sensor system. The XM weather selection allows for multiple layers of weather data to be shown on the iNav map display. XM weather is an option. The TCAS function shows traffic information on the map. The default setting for TCAS is on. Soft keys and bezel buttons on the map display enable quick access to commonly used features. Click on the Map Mode button to toggle the map orientation between North Up and Heading Up or Track Up modes. The Power Up default is North Up. At any time, select Center Aircraft to center the map display on the present position of the aircraft while in North Up mode. When Heading Up mode is active, pushing the Center Aircraft button changes the map to North Up and centers the aircraft. The route and waypoints of the active flight plan are shown on the map. The current two waypoint is always shown in magenta while the other waypoints are displayed in white. The skip and recall buttons can be used to step through the waypoints in the flight plan. The message clear button 
deletes any FMS messages that may be displayed on the map. The nearest button shows the airports closest to the aircraft's present position. This information is useful if a quick diversion is necessary. After an airport has been selected, click on Divert To, which automatically enters a direct to into the flight plan. Jeppesen terminal charts can be accessed by pushing the Charts button. Charts are an option on Primus Apex equipped aircraft. The vertical situation display can be shown by pushing the VSD button. It shows a profile view of the flight plan and terrain. The VSD corresponds to the VNAV profile of the FMS flight plan. The current altitude and pre-selector bug are shown along with the digital readouts on the VSD. The colors of the bug and readout match the colors on the attitude indicator. Flight plan items such as waypoints, legs, top of climbs and descents, and altitude constraints are shown along your route of flight. Terrain is shown along the full length of the VSD. The A indicates auto select mode and is the only mode currently available. The system automatically selects between terrain under track or terrain under flight plan modes, depending on your position relative to the flight plan. When the cursor is moved to the edge of the map display, scroll bars will be shown. Click on the scroll bar to scroll the map in that direction. An altitude intercept arc shows where on the map the aircraft will reach the altitude set in the preselector. This can be useful in selecting climb or descent rates to meet crossing restrictions. The arc is shown automatically when the map is in heading up mode and the vertical speed is greater than 300 feet per minute. The INAV map on the Primus Apex MFD improves a pilot's situational awareness and reduces pilot workload by providing quick access to relevant flight information.